Hey guys, it's Ernesto. Who are you? Did you catch the Monday critique? What do you mean? Of course I did. Did you? So hey guys, welcome back. Happy Monday. Today we have an image submission by Christopher. Again, if you guys want to submit your image to be critiqued, please join our Facebook group. It's called Fine Art Photography and Modeling. In that group, I created a specific thread where you could submit your images to be critiqued. Without any further ado, let's jump right into this image critique. So we have a beautiful submission here by Christopher and his subject. So let's analyze this image and let's start with lighting. The lighting appears to be coming from camera left. If I look at the subject's eyes, I could see that in the corner of her eye, it appears to be a soft box that Christopher used in this shot. I don't see any other light source, so I don't believe he used any other light source in this image. It looks like it was like a one light setup coming from camera left. So now let's look at some other items on this image that's impacted by the light. If you look at her hands and her chest, you will notice that the exposure on our hands and our chest is a little bit brighter than the exposure on her face. Now, the reason for this is because those two elements are a little bit closer to the light source. So because those two elements are the two brightest parts of this image, when I look at this image, that's where my eyes goes immediately. And then it goes to the subject's face. Generally, you want to have the main subject of the image brighter than any other area of the image because that's where you want your viewer to look. So in this particular case, since I'm the viewer, my eyes go to the brightest area of this image, which is her hands and her chest. So let's talk about how we could have fixed this while shooting. So the first thing that could have been done with respect to reducing the amount of light hitting her hands and her chest, the first thing that could have been done is we could have used a flag. A flag could have blocked the light from hitting the chest and hitting the hands. The second thing that could have been done is use a grid on the softbox. And that grid would help concentrate the light on the subject's face and decrease the amount of light that's hidden her chest and her hands. So now let's move on to posing. From a posing perspective, I believe the creator of this image and the subject got it mostly right. The only thing I would suggest with the posing is bringing her chin down just a little bit more. It's just bringing her chin from here to here just a little bit more. I have no idea how that looks on camera because I'm not behind the camera, but the point being just bringing her chin down just a little bit. I think it would have helped with the, with the shot just a little bit more on the pose. So, but overall with the posing, I think he did awesome. And I think the subject also did a great job. Now let's move on to composition. So one of the things I wanted to look at from a compositional perspective is how Christopher cropped the shot. So if you look at camera left where her hands is protruding from, the, the crop on our hands just seems to be a little bit amputated. I feel like if the wrist was included in the shot, the hands would have feel a little bit more 
included as opposed to how it feels right now, which is a little bit excluded from the shot. It doesn't feel like it's her hands. It just feels like there's a hand there, which makes it a, a little bit disconcerting uh, when I look at the shot, at least from my, my perspective. I believe an inclusion of the risk would have certainly helped with this shot. So let's move on to a topic that I normally don't talk about because I don't consider myself to be an expert in this area and that is post-production. A couple of things that I noticed with post-production, so let's dive into the first thing. First thing being color temperature. There's a different color temperature on our face, there's a different color temperature on our chest, and there's a different color temperature on our hands. So the solution that I believe that could have been applied in this situation is a gray card, one. I don't know if one was used or not. That would be one way to help fix this problem. And then in post-production, you will push the image a little bit further to help blend that color temperature. So the other thing that I noticed with respect to the post-production is the light and shadow on the subject's face. Blending those two things just a little bit more would help smooth out the image just a little bit, not our skin, but just smooth out the transitions between the light and shadows, which would help make the image a little bit more pleasing to look at. So let's move on to the last thing that I noticed with respect to post-production, and that's the skin. The skin appears to be smoother on her chest than it is on her face. So there's a slight disconnect there. That has to do with the smoothness of her skin on her chest and her face. The skin appears to be very smooth and the face seems to appear a little bit untouched. So it seems a little bit more tension um, on the face would have helped blend the chest and the face just a little bit more. Wow, so that's it guys. Thank you very much, Christopher, for submitting that image. I hope my observation and suggestions were helpful to you, and I hope that it will help you with the next image that you're gonna create. So, that being said, if you want to submit your image to be critiqued, please join our Facebook group. It's called Fine Art Photography and Modeling. And in that group, I created a specific thread where you could submit your images to be critiqued. Now, let's jump into the rating of this image. Number one, lighting. From a lighting perspective, I gave Christopher a three. Number two, from a posing perspective, I gave Christopher a four. So moving on to composition. So from a compositional perspective, I gave Christopher a rating of three. So now let's move on to the last area, an area that I normally don't talk too much about, which is post-production. In this area, I gave Christopher a rating of two. So overall, this image received a rating of three out of five. Guys, Please continue to submit your photos to be critiqued. I hope that you guys are getting some great information from these videos. I'm really enjoying making them. It's taking some time, but I'm enjoying them. I'm trying to make them fun. And I hope that you guys are enjoying those funny little intros that I've been doing. So I will continue to do them because it makes this a little bit more interesting for me and I hopefully more entertaining for you. So if you guys enjoy this video, and you got some information from it, please hit that thumbs up button. Please share this video with your friends and family. And please put some comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agreed with some of my suggestions or if you have some helpful suggestions of your own in addition to what I already said. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. So please, please drop those comments down below. This is a learning experience. My goal here is to help the image creator and also hopefully help you guys in the process. So just as a reminder, these video critiques are published every Monday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
so you get notified every Monday when these videos are released. Also, we have tons of full-length photography videos on this channel about posing, lighting, composition. So subscribe if you want to see more. So that's it guys. I'll see you next Monday.